The reason I'm conducting this experiment is because of this figure right here. You see a change of enthalpy of 40 kilojoules per mole. And basically what that is talking about, just in a nutshell, is that the heating through microwave application can reduce this number here, 170 kilojoules per mole, down to 40 kilojoules per mole. This is basically just some uh, mathematics pertaining to the Bowder reaction, or I'm not sure how you pronounce that, Bowder reaction or something. But basically I'm just uh, going to do a second experiment using oxyhydrogen gas to see if something takes place as far as lowering the activation energy. Because I did get a lot of gas out of the last experiment I did. So what I have here is basically a beaker inverted with a screen and a discharge tube with an elbow in it to keep stuff from falling down in there and clogging it. And then I just got a hydrogen torch that I just rigged up here just to make this a quick and simple experiment. And uh, we're going to revisit that test. I don't have any activated carbon, so all I have is charcoal. So we're going to try charcoal first. I'm hoping to get a red hot area going here, and then all the gases will hopefully be forced through the red hot zone. And um, we'll get us a carbon monoxide flame shooting out this part here. And that's where we're at. There it goes. Gotta be quick. It's pretty cool. Uh oh, I think it went out. I don't know what the heck happened there. It just went out for some reason. Well, we're stopping that test already. Okay, try this again. Yep, one out again on me. Not exactly sure why it's extinguishing. Definitely a problem. I think I just need a more ferocious flame. Not cool. Okay, I gotta air it out again. Because as I said, if I just light this and stick it right back in there now, it will explode. So. Quite as long as I want to be really. Here it goes. Okay, it's going out again. I don't think you caught that. That's right, just. Now I have to discharge that last little spurt of gases in there because I now have an explosive situation. So I'm gonna have to shoot some air in that line through the chamber. I don't know why it's going out. It shouldn't do that. And then pressuring up. Yeah, I don't know why it's just going out on me like that. I'm losing my seal here. So I don't know what's up. I'm gonna turn it up full power. Hopefully it'll stay lit long enough. I'm blowing all that HHO gas out of there so it don't blow up in my face. Okay, here we go. It's probably gonna be the last one. It's falling apart on me. Damn. Out again. So, 
So this showing some pretty interesting results as far as a device I was planning on building that involved an HHO torch that was injected into a canister full of rubbish or like some sticks or something. This is showing that that doesn't work as easy as I think it's going to. I probably need to turn the power up the very second I stick that flame in there. I'm going to try and do that this time. But I'm going to have to run. Evacuating all that HHO. So yeah, this time I'm going to stick it in there and then hurry up and run over there and turn it up to full power. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. I'm not a fan. This really sucks. Shit. Nope, it's still one out. I don't know why it keeps going out. It's killing me here. Okay. Maybe I should just put the biggest torch tip on there and try that. We're going to change tips. Okay, here we go. It's kind of risky. There's going to be a huge flame in here. Yeah. Still goes out on it. So we are going nowhere with that experiment. Nowhere. Does it work? And that's a lot of pressure. I am at like 1800 watts. This thing's cranking some heat. Wow. I am a little hot. Good. Nothing. Gotta shut it off. Going crazy on me. So, we're getting nowhere fast with that. I have to anneal this thing real quick before I lose it. Gotta take all this down. So, I think I'm gonna resume this in the morning. Well, it cracked. I'm trying to kneel it now, best I can. I did try to mend the cracks, but for the most part, sorry, complete failure. The bulb is cracked. This experiment is done. I'm gonna have to try it a different way. But it did prove that it don't work. Definitely something going on. You would think if anything, the size of the flame would just decrease if it was a pressure issue. That's so strange. Maybe something is getting in the flame that's of such high contamination value that it extinguishes it. I don't know.